Good morning, this is Jerry Shea in the Cathedral City Cove on the last day of June. It's such a beautiful morning, I thought I would share a couple of uh, plants in the garden here. Uh, this is a uh, smoke tree which is in full bloom right now and uh, most people have, uh, who are not from the desert have never seen this type of tree. It's a succulent, it is uh, has a rather thorny uh, spike to it and at this time of year and uh, the beginning of summer it's covered with a little tiny purple flower which you'll see completely covers the ground. This is mostly set up as a desert scape so uh, almost the whole yard is very um, low water, low maintenance. This uh, tree is very popular for uh, nesting for all different types of birds. I don't know if you can see it, but it's covered with little tiny bees right now. In fact, they're using, there's a hum around this tree at this time of year as the birds are gathering their pollen. It's a very decorative tree. You can sculpt it and shape it almost as a piece of art. And as I stand under it, there's a constant little mist. It feels like it's uh, raining because the tree is constantly dripping. And while we're here, I thought I'd share a couple of other uh, plants that are uh, very popular in the desert, especially for uh, low maintenance. Uh, this is a Mexican bird of paradise, which is um, uh, lining a lot of the medians and desert scapes and houses. Uh, this beautiful yellow flower is a Japanese oleander, which makes a great privacy hedge or decorative bush. And the bougainvillea is normally covered from top to bottom with beautiful flowers, uh, but we just cut it back in order for it to uh, uh, not top over because these can get very big and very heavy. And then over here, you see tucked under the uh, bird of paradise, we have a uh, pl pink plumeria. This is what uh, Hawaiian lays are made out of. It's very fragrant and um, it grows extremely well in the desert. Most people think this is just a, a Hawaiian island plant, but you'll see it throughout the desert. And this large plant here was just uh, put in the ground about five years ago as a five gallon plant for about $15 and now it's over 20 feet tall. And as we go back through under the smoke tree here, I want to show you another smoke tree in the front that has just finished blooming and has a little bit of a green gray look to it, but in a couple of weeks that will be completely brown and the tree almost looks like it's dead. And the reason it's called a smoke tree is that it looks like there's plumes of smoke coming out of the branches. As you can see, it's a beautiful day this morning. The mountains across the street there are actually part of the city of Palm Springs. That's all open area and will never be built on. I hope you enjoyed this brief little tour of the garden. I don't know if you can hear the birds in the uh, background and the butterflies going by, but I thought it was such a beautiful day. I just wanted to share, share it with you. Have a great day.